The Ruler program uh, has found its origin uh, mid 90s uh, with uh, the University of Dayton Research Institute, uh, which was performing a program for the US Air Force, which was basically looking for technology to uh, solve their bearing and uh, lubrication problems on their F 16 jet fighters as well as C 130 uh, airplanes, as the technology measuring the antioxidants in lubricants. Antioxidants basically are the vitamins of a lubricant and they are basically helping to protect the base oil against aging, against oxidation. So it was a very proactive test method because you are measuring the life of lubricant by monitoring on the trend way the depletion of antioxidants. Very innovative, mid-90s, because lubricant manufacturers they were uh, supplying a lot of different formulations, but never really looked at uh, uh, measuring antioxidants. So it was a very unique, again, a pioneering test method. We were the first uh, prototype technology, portable technology uh, for, um, platform, uh, at that time the Windows network uh, platform. And uh, we had three objectives. The first objective, make it fully portable. Bring all analysis from the uh, laboratory to the field, save time and cost and perform yourself the oil analysis. The second one, very important, a test method that could be performed by anybody. You didn't need to have like a white jacket, chemi chemical uh, jacket. And thirdly, very important, the technology that could be integrated with other uh, parameters of uh, measuring the life of the lubricant. Breakthrough we made is through ASTM. Uh, we managed to make the test methods uh, standard, as a standardized test method and from there it was uh, first of all better accepted, integrated and very important, the big breakthrough was uh, with the help of OEMs like Siemens, General Electric, Alstom, which were then integrating this into their oil analysis program in order to better serve uh, their customers. Going back to the field for life, Measuring antioxidants helps you also to replenish antioxidants eh, and avoiding to go too, uh, too far in the reserve uh, of, of a lubricant. Once you bring up the level of antioxidants, you can go as far as you want with the life of a lubricant. Uh, and that was uh, the neat um, part of the technology is that uh, today uh, end users, they use it not only in their laboratory, but they start to use it also in the field. I'm thinking about biogas engines, wind turbine, gearboxes, offshore, onshore, mining applications, all where you are very close to the reality of the lubricant and this bringing you the oil analysis at your fingertips if you want, bringing the value of the remaining useful life of your lubricant. We also were able with this technology to uh, enter the world and discovering uh, and better understanding the deposits and varnish issues today that the industry is fighting with. This helped us to uh, position ourselves uh, and uh, helping and becoming really the experts of uh, oxidative degradation of lubricants. The ruler technology as part of a, a reliability program. Uh, the, the, well, of course, Fill for Life is equal to sustainability, but also we shall not lose the, the reliability uh, uh, aspect uh, out of this uh, uh, consideration, because reliability is also driven by, uh, is driven by economics. And uh, I think with this, we make a nice balance between approaching sustainability uh, for a better global, uh, protecting global world. Same time, we also serve the industry uh, from an econ economical viewpoint.